Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing a Book Box Club subscription box. It's a bit different to usual. I signed up for this in February as I wanted to read more books in 2021 and I thought this would be a fun way of starting. So I've already opened up everything in here but I have yet to read or use any of the items and as you can see it's got a bit of scribbles here. That's my three-year-old. Um, the box has either one or two books and comes with goodies inside it and they're all based on the theme surrounding the book so I'm going to get started and show you everything that is in here so it comes like this and usually these books are wrapped up in this really nice wrapping paper I've got all this tissue paper here as well it's very nicely packaged so what I'm gonna do is get everything out and come back and show you what it's like right I've got everything out of the box so I'll go ahead and start off with the books first so this is the card and it has all of the information for each item on the back here so yeah I'll go with the books first So you get this one, it's We Played With Fire by Catherine Barter and I'll just read what it says about it on the back here. So it says the Fox sisters have some otherworldly problems with their seance hosting parties take a sinister turn. What started out as a ruse to trick their gullible parents soon transforms into something unexpectedly paranormal and out of their control. Can they claim the fame they crave and keep their shadowy visitors at bay? So that looks interesting. And I'll go ahead and get the next one out. And this is called All Our Hidden Gifts by Carolyn O'Donoghue. Oh, and each book, I've got to say, has a book plate signature so you can stick it in, um, signed by the author. Right, so I'll just read up about that book. All Our Hidden Gifts by Carolyn O'Donoghue. In the depths of a dusty cupboard, school misfit Maeve discovers a deck of tarot cards and finds she has a talent for predicting her classmates' fortunes. But when her former best friend disappears and a strange, frightening card appears in the deck, Maeve begins to realise how dangerous it is to play with magic. So they look very interesting to read and I'll have to get on with that because in May I've got the Clubhouse invite where we get to speak to the authors and ask them any questions about the books which brings me to the next item. It's the Clubhouse invite which is in this envelope here. Join us and your fellow BookBox Club members in our online clubhouse, aka the Friendly Bookish Coven, for a chat about our featured reads. Catherine Barter and Carolyn O'Donoghue will be our special guests and will answer your questions about their brilliant books. And it just gives the link to the invite. So that's here. Now it says open me last because it presumes you haven't opened the books yet, which are usually wrapped very nicely with some silver string around it's really nice i have got another book box club that i haven't actually opened yet um so i'll show you that on the next video so here it's on the 13th of may at 8 p.m so yeah i've got to i'll try and read at least one of the books by then but as I said um, at the start, I, I haven't read books for a while, so that's what I was wanting to do this year, try and read books. Um, so we'll see how we go with those anyway. Right, so next, let's have a look what we've got next. Right, there's one item that's next, but I want to leave that to last because it's my favourite one. So... It's these little mini tarot cards. So, 
I'm not really into tarot card reading or anything like that. So really they're just decoration for me. I could maybe stick them in a planner spread. So it's like that on the front and it tells you in a little bit about each card here, what they mean. Um, let's see on the back. Oh, and it's got this nice print here, like moths. So usually the full tarot deck features 78 cards and expert diviners can predict many fortunes. Here at Book Box Club, we like to keep it simple. So we've selected five of our fave tarot cards for you to perform a mini reading. Shuffle the deck, think of a question, channel your inner fortune teller and select two cards at random. Our tiny tarot would tell you the answer to, that you need to know. Right, so I'll just leave them there. And I'll just read up about what it says about them. Tiny tarot card prints by Jade Holly Design. These adorable mini tarot cards are perfect for amateur fortune tellers or if you're a wannabe witch with a flair for coven decor. That's what I'll probably be using them for. Why not jazz up your wall art with these pretty prints? And it's got the link to her Etsy shop. So it's etsy.com forward slash UK shop Jade Holly Design. Right, and then we've got this next which is a really nice folder it's the hang on, I'll just move this book out of the way so it's Hubble Bubble Toil and Trouble so it's a folder ring binder folder and oh, I love the print on the back it's gorgeous so you can put what you want in here but um, I'll read out what it says about that So, Hubble Bubble Recipe Folder with artwork by Elf Paper Co. Looking for an exquisitely witchy file to store your re spells, recipes, book box club unboxing cards in? Look no further, the exclusive ring binder is a must-have for all our super organised supernatural sisters. And it's got a link to her Etsy shop, etsy.com forward slash shop and then Elf Paper Co. So I'm not sure what I'll do with that, actually. Um, I don't think I will use it as a... I think I'll probably keep those cards in here whenever I get a book box club and any other information. So that brings me to the next item, which is this it's lavender shortbread biscuits and it's hole punch so you can put it in your ring binder crack out your cauldrons magic up some tasty treats and there it's got the recipe on here so it looks very nice i love the images on here um let's see what it says about that lavender shortcut bread recipe by book box club Complete for the accolade of Star Baker of the Coven and magic up a delicious batch of reading snacks with this sumptuous spell. Right, so I'll just put that over there for now. Um, and then that brings me to the next item. Now, it does seem quite random because it's a wooden spoon. It's got a nice engraving here, which I think is a cauldron with... Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's a cauldron, if you put it this way. With some nice swirly smoke and bubbles. Hubble bubble. So you've got that wooden spoon to mix up your shortbread and any other nice recipes you've got. So let's have a look. Wonderfully witchy wooden spoon by Book Bucks Club. Stir up some trouble for a batch of delicious shortbread biscuits with this cute cauldron-themed wooden spoon. Right, and um, so next I've got this coffee, it's Witch's Brew Coffee, I'll just have a smell. Oh yeah, smells lovely that. So it's some ground coffee, so I'll have to get the K2 
cafetiere out for that. Make some of that. And it's the, let's see, has it got it on here? Yeah, Witch's Brew Coffee by Cafe Tremone. Pour yourself a potent potion of pure caffeinated magic. As we say, a cauldron of coffee a day keeps the bad omens away. And it's got a code here, which is why I keep having my thumb there, because um, it's a discount code for your next order at tremoni.com. Right, so there's a few, there's a sampler book here as well, Unchosen by Catherine Blair. And it's going to be um, on sale 4th of March, so that was last month. Um, I'll see if it's got anything about that on there. No, it doesn't. It's just a, a sample read, really. So it's not part of the book. It's just a sample. And you've also got this leaflet here, Advertising Tales by Mail. It's their sister company that's a book subscription and podcast for adventurous readers aged 8 to 12 and fans of middle grade fiction. And you receive books and treats just like this one, but it's for younger children or any fans of that type of fiction right so i've sorted all of those i'm just wanting to leave the best till last because that's these earrings They're so nice just take them out so it's some lovely green hearts with gold flecks in there they look lovely. So, and it says, for the first time, I feel wicked. So, yeah, I really look forward to wearing these. I love earrings and jewellery. And I'll just read what it says about that. Alphaba earrings by Sapphire Thrills. Devishly wicked witch or deeply misunderstood Gravity defying sorceress, wear these stunning green studs in celebration of Oz's most enigmatic havoc wrecker. Havoc wrecker, sorry, apologize for my pronunciation. And uh, it's got the website there, so it's www.sapphirefrills.com. So I'll definitely be checking out some of her other items because I do love jewelry. So that was it from the February Sisters of Coven Book Box Club. I hope you liked it. Um, so this was my first one and I've got Marches, which is all about, um, it's Against the Dark, the theme's called. And I've, I have looked inside and I've got to say, I do prefer that box to this one. Um, it's just because it's some of the things I won't really use. I mean, I've got Plenty of wooden spoons. It's nice having this little engraving. Um, that recipe folder I won't really be using. I don't know what I can use it for, really. Um, I mean, I'll be having this coffee, but, you know, the tarot cards. I don't really use any of these items, but I look forward to reading the books. And the earrings, as I say, they're my favourite. But I will be coming back tomorrow and I'll unbox the March one. So you can see what I get in there. And yeah, I'll, it is definitely one of my favourites. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye.